okay, welcome back. Okay, so here's the deal. I am finally home and I am, well, I went on ahead and took off the, uh, what you call that thing? The domes on both my devices. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my hearing aids for the, what do you call the skins? So again, um, I was given, oh wait, the other one. There it is, okay. All right, yeah. So I was given some of these little, I guess you call them stickers that I could put on the actual hearing aids themselves. I've never done this before because this wasn't available when I first started wearing a hearing aid at four. So um, in all my years of wearing hearing aids, I've never ever knew that there was like decals you could put on your hearing aids. But here's my pink set, oh, upside down. My pink set, um, and this is from Hearing Out Loud. Um, a very, very sweet owner. She. Uh, I'm so happy she did something like this because it's sparkly, cute, fun. And then I also got black. Uh, so if I just want to change it up, I could do it without any issues. So let's get to putting them on. All right, so to start, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the battery out so that it won't cut on and disconnect you. So, yes, my hearing aids are attached to my phone, so I hear through my hearing aids, but I talk through the phone whenever I'm on my phone. So it's like a Bluetooth thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the skins ready. I'm gonna do the pink one, cause pink is my favorite. And the domes, I'm getting those clean because they, um, they're pretty dirty. Um, and usually the domes get changed every four to six months. And I think the last time I was got them done no i don't even know was it july august september october november could have been july it had to be september it's got to be september because i remember yeah i had to be september because i had the baby so yeah um i'm going to go ahead and get this on as you can see and all you do is just literally slide the little See the little silver thing with bobber right there? There you go, see? That slides through there, and then it slides over my earpiece, the whole the, uh, thing on my ear, and then it just slides over it like that and covers it. And the purpose of the skins is because it keeps out like debris and sweat, oil, because my hair is locked or whatever, Um, but yeah. So I am working, but not right now. So I'm gonna break right now. So don't come for me. But anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this uh, without the battery in it. I'm gonna put that in last. And then we're gonna do the second one. This is like having toys at Christmas because it's something finally that is available to hearing aids. It's not normal to have something like this available. Um, I just found out they have jewels for them that you could put on the actual um, tubes. Um, because the my prior hearing aids, they were pretty bulky. Um, but these here are kind of small. I like the behind the ear uh, hearing aids because I don't care for people like looking into my ear and see. Um, so I like it because it's kind of, it's really discreet to me because once it's up, up against my skin, you won't really like see it like talking about, um, unless you know to look or, you know, the hearing aid, that's the only way you know. But anyway, so just like that, we got the skins on, oh. um, and I'm going to wear the pink ones because I just love pink. So I'm going to keep those and mind you, they are a bit long, but it's okay because then, yeah, it's fine. They are really long. I wouldn't want them any shorter, actually, because then, uh, yeah, it'll just be, you know, behind my ear completely. But usually I don't wear my glasses when I have these on because I don't like the way the glasses and my hearing aids feel. And then they just slide off my face and then the hearing aids start to hurt my ears or whatever. So anyway, um, I'm just babbling now. But that is how I add my skins to my hearing aids. Yeah, and the only other thing I would do is probably, uh, I usually use a wipe, um, but I already wiped them prior, 
but I wipe them down just because, uh, you know, earwax and stuff like that. And I really do not like earwax buildup on here, but there isn't any on here. No, but. Huh. Um, but yeah, so I usually clean them and get them ready for when I'm ready to wear them again. And right now I'm just going to take another bike wipe and wipe my domes. I was going to soak them, but I only have a 30 minute lunch break today. So I'm just going to, you know, do what I got to do. And yeah. Fun fact, I've worn hearing aids since I was four years old. And I also have, um... I don't know that I have any relatives that actually wear hearing aids. Um, I believe I am the only one, but I could be wrong. I just may not know them <laughs> as family. So yeah, I uh, have worn them since I was four. My very first pair were a uh, receiver in canal, where it's like just this portion where your ears opening is. Um, and they were by a company, a brand by the name of Starkey and they were, they only came in two colors, which was like a brown color and a nude. And uh, I wanna say my next pair after that, I got in high school, cause I wore the receiver in the ear for a long time because I saw a girl at school one time, she had behind the ear and I really wanted hers, even though they were like dark brown, but I wanted them. And I had my receiver in the ear hearing aids for the longest. So maybe I was like, had to be high school, middle school, no, high school, high school. Cause ninth grade, yeah, I remember taking them out. And my principal at the time was also my cousin. <laughs> um, and she knew to look for the hearing aids because I would take them out whenever I, would, whenever I was in between classes, I would take them out. And then um, when I get to class, I put them back on so people wouldn't notice. I was super, super, duper, duper, duper insecure about them. Um, because, again, there was like not a lot of people my age that wore them. It was always older people. But they had, you know, the onset hearing loss from age. Um, and so they're just kind of like different to go to school and then have your peers not wear hearing aids, but you did. So yeah, um, but I overcame all that. I actually, I want to say my 10th grade year, I finally got some behind the ear ones and they were leopard. Yeah, they were leopard. And that was the first pair of hearing aids that were behind the ear. They look similar to these, but this body was a uh, was a leopard print, and it was the cutest ever. But um, and then my next pair, no, they were not. They were brown. They were like a nudish brown, but not quite brown, but not quite nude. Um, and yeah, so I got those, and then I got the leopard. The leopard I got when I started college. No, I was my senior year of high school because I moved to Baton Rouge. That's what it was, yeah. My senior year of high school, I moved to Baton Rouge, and I got those. And then that was the ones I had through college. And then once I graduated college, I had purple ones. Super cute. I wanted pink, but they seemed to not like pink too much. So that's why uh, I was always like, man, I wish there was a way to turn my hair needs pink. And now there is a way. Um, And then in six years ago no this will be four years ago i got these but these are actually uh oh these are actually brown these are little bitty hearing aids let me show you let me see these are little bitty hearing aid um and they come in a pack like this ah. like this see size 312 hearing aid batteries so oh, yeah um but I have to change my batteries every two to three days because they do not last long at all. Um, Bluetooth is basically like FaceTime for iPhone. Um, Bluetooth on the hearing aid is like FaceTime for an iPhone. It drains the battery fast. So, um, and these are not rechargeable. But I got these. The skin is white. I mean, the uh, the, the shell is, is white. 
but underneath here is a nude color hearing aid. Um, you can't see it, but it's here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean to close that. But, yeah. So, with these hearing aids, um, in order to activate them, I close my door on them, slide my sleeve back on, and then I insert them into my ear. That's one. And then, once again, take the door. Excuse the, the ear piece. The, the dome, it's time to get them changed. But anyway, close the door. It starts to play a little jingle. Slide the sleeve over. And then I insert it to my ear. And just like that, my hearing aids are on. I actually like this. So, like, you can't see it but unless you pull my ear over. So... Aha. Uh -huh. I love it. So yeah. Welcome to my world. As a hard of hearing individual, I don't say deaf because I'm not deaf. Um however, um, I am hard of hearing. Many people can't tell, but that's my reality. So I don't know what it's like to be normal, so I can't say this has been you know normal for me. I don't know what normal is. So this has been my journey, as you say. So anywho, until next time, thank you, friends.